Uh, hello, people. I'd like to welcome you to the 10th Joy of Painting series. If this is your first time with us, I hope you grab a few paints and some brushes and come along and paint with us. If you've been with us before, well, look at you, you bloody ripper. Welcome back again. So tell you what, maybe let's graphically run the colours across the screen that you need to do this painting with me. But if you're illiterate, don't worry. I've got them all down here, as you can see, and I've made them all go all the way down to the back there. Just make them up and see if you can keep up. So this is what I'd call a medium-sized canvas that's been primed up, which means just grabbing your brush and making sure you prepare a really nice thin even coat of liquid white, which makes it all slippery dippery. And after that, it should sort of feel like the canvas is sweaty. You're looking for a consistency like a rotisserie barbecue pig. So we're just gonna get this uh, par party started with a little bit of this, uh, I think it's dark sienna, as it says on, oh, or is it Van Dyke? Sorry, no, it's blue. <laughs> Silly me, I'm just reading the reading the screen there. It's actually blue, my bad. So I'll tell you what, let's go up in the corner here with a few crisscrosses. Goes goes down better when you make the make the cool sounds with your mouth. Now while you're working on sound effects, try this one out with me. It's pretty advanced, but we'll give it a go. much more of a whooshing sound. Well, that was tough. All right, let's clean our brush. A lot of people like to keep their messes confined, but I personally like to uh, spread my painty water everywhere. <laughs> nice and messy. Now the sky really needs a couple of smooshes, so let's chuck them in now. What do you reckon? Okie dokie. We're gonna want a lot of white and a little bit of wed. Bit of a joke for you. No offense to people with a speech impediment. Perhaps we should change the subject to something less controversial, such as smooshes in the sky. This one's pretty smooshy. I think if we smoosh it in a little bit more, it's gonna look extra uh, smooshy. And we're gonna add to our smooshes, some in the middle of the sky, and load up our brush again. And we're gonna put a little bit more on the other side to balance it out, because as I always say, if you're gonna smoosh, do it right. Which is why the best way to make a happy little smoosh is to tickle it with your brush, with a dry brush after. Just imagine that as you do your twirls, they're doing little giggles. <laughs> yeah, that's a happy little smoosh right there. Yeah. <laughs> I just tickled my knee. So it's a three step process. We do the smoosh, we tickle it, and we calm it down with a little stroke. Then we're done. It's easy as that. Hmm. Oh, I bet you're wondering what comes after the sound effects and smooshes. Boy, have I got a treat for you. This one's called a splodge. We just grab a, a bit of a colour on our knife here and we just splodge it down and scrape it across. And fine, yours doesn't look like this when you're done. Well, I guess I'm just wasting my time, but let's just pretend that you're keeping up for a second. Next, we're grabbing a bit of this vanilla ice cream with just the slightest hint of strawberry flavoring, as you can see. It really surprised me to discover that, but wouldn't you know it, the best texture for your splodge comes from that vanilla ice cream with just a hint of strawberry. Now, it's a powerful thing. When you paint top to bottom and add a bit of ice cream, it looks good and it's pretty yum. So we're gonna mix in a bit of blueberry, a bit of boysenberry, and a bit of that vanilla, and you'll just find the flavors that will mix in together and get a really nice blend of taste and tantalizing visuals. And when it's done, you can lick it off and it tastes how it looks, which I think is the best bit about it. But I hope you haven't worked up too much of an appetite because <laughs> moving on, I'm gonna paint with my bowel movement, starting off with a little bit of a nice, even mix of last Wednesday's bowel movement I collected and then last night's taco bell. And I think it's safe to say if you were interested in licking that blueberry before, you're, uh, <clears throat> you're probably not interested in it anymore. Now the best feature of poo is uh, smears really well. So that's why we're gonna come in here and just give it a little wipes. Just pretend it's your butt. Just little wipes, little wipey wipes. And that is what I find gets the best smear aesthetic. Now this next technique I like to call skid mark marking. It's where you take white paint 
and you just scrape across and you're marking on top of the skid marks. Now that was paint, but we're just going to move back to our poo palette. Let's load up our brush here. And the best way to load up the poop is with a little wiggle motion, just like with your toilet paper. You wipe, wiggle, and then you dab. Wipe, wiggle, and dab. Which, funnily enough, is both a painting technique and a dance move. The wipe, wiggle, and dab. People always ask me, Jezza, how do you move with so much groove? And I always tell them at the clubs, it's the same as painting. You wipe, wiggle, and dab, and there are different ways you can do it. This is uh, the upward dab. And uh, sometimes the wiggle is a little softer, um, but the wipe is always, always efficient. Now, uh, it's important to keep in mind, if you over smear, it's really hard to scrape off. And I find that by using a spatula or metal object, it never comes off cleanly. So let's move on to cover up some of our over smearing with a little bit of this yellow color, which you'll be relieved to know is just paint. But uh, I've been playing a bit of a trick on you because we've been painting with paint this whole time. No strawberries and cream, or even human feces. That's a little trick I like to play on people. And uh, speaking of playing tricks on people, I've been playing a trick on you this whole time, and I'm going to let my friend Bob explain. Peace out. Wow. That was a truly wonderful video from Jazza. What you might not know, though, is that uh, this whole thing was a little bit of a prank. You see, that footage you just watched wasn't actually Jazza. And this footage that you're watching now actually isn't Bob Ross. <laughs> it's <clears throat> me, Jazza. That's right, I've been regular old cheeky bastard Jazza all along and under the surface. Jazza. Hemsworth is actually my last name. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. I'll come clean. This was just a fun little experiment in deep fakes. Now this was all thanks to the YouTuber known as Next Face, who does deep fakes that thoroughly entertain me. And this all came about because he made a tweet with a, a portion of a Do Bob Ross video with my face on his face. And it was just so perfect, I reached out and asked if we could do a whole video out of it. And he did so if you want to see the behind the scenes of how he pulled all of this off i'll link to his channel in the description and check out his channel while you're there for some more entertaining deepfakes and subscribe because this was a really fun collaboration and as uncanny as deepfakes are you can't help but watch him because we like being confused sometimes at least I do. Anyways, this has been a very different kind of video, but one I'm hoping you got a kick out of, because I certainly have. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't, make sure to subscribe for more fun with art and creativity of all sorts. Sometimes random crap like this, which is usually my favorite sort of thing. <laughs> like this video if you enjoyed it and uh, share it if you want to throw someone else uh, a bit of a surprise. Otherwise, there are more videos over there you might enjoy. That's it for now. And until next time, I'll see you later. And so will I. Happy painting. <laughs>